Welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at these Edifier W820 MB wireless Bluetooth headphones. These come with active noise cancelling and ambient mode. I'm Really Random Reviews, I hope everyone's doing fine and well and having a great day. These headphones are from Amazon and cost £60 at the time of recording. Some of the main features include high-res audio certification, active noise cancelling, ambient mode, real memory foam, titanium drivers, up to 49 hours playback or 29 hours in ANC mode. Let's get into unboxing and see what kind of quality we're dealing with here for £60. The box feels fairly lightweight, which is not always a bad thing when it comes to headphones, and yours may or may not come in this outer plastic sleeve. As you can see here, we've got the Edifier logo on the box there, the high-res audio certification, and the model number there. little packet fell out there so we've got a little packet here which contains some paperwork i'm assuming the instructions the warranty information after sales and things like that we're not going to need any of this your generic 2.0 usb lead with the type c port on one end and the headphones themselves They do actually feel quite light, which is nice in my opinion. They've got a nice matte black finish, and they seem fairly well constructed with rotating ear cups. It looks like all the controls are on the right hand side, and there's a little gold printed Edifier logo on the headband there. There's a nice soft memory foam headband on the inside. They've got extendable headbands, the left and right feel okay, maybe a little looser than I would like here, but they are fairly smooth, and I suppose once the clamping pressure of wearing them, that will tighten that adjustment up. You've also got the R and L printed with that same gold etching on the inside. As I said, all the controls are on the right hand side, you've got the microphone there, You've got your USB Type-C port there, the Bluetooth synchronization button, the Bluetooth indication light, volume down, volume up, and power on and off. Although some of these buttons are multifunctional, we'll get into all that very shortly. As I said, the ear cups are also real memory foam, and they also rotate, so that's nice when you want to lay them flat on your desk or just have them round your neck. Overall, the build quality is very good, and I like the way everything is on the right-hand side, so you can use it all with one hand. Another nice thing I noticed here was when popping in the Type-C connection, it locks in, so it will not fall out accidentally, which is a real nice touch in my opinion. We'll do a quick microphone test, and then we're going to take a little look at the app. One, two, one, two. This is a microphone check for the Edifier headphones. I haven't messed with any of their enhancements or settings. I've just plugged this straight in via USB, turned the volume down to around 60% in the audio settings and fired it up straight away. It seems to be working reasonably well. I don't see any peaks or anything and I don't hear any unwanted noises. The sound isolation sounds pretty good and the noise cancelling seems to be working very well also. To the button functions then, you need to hold the power button on to switch on the device. You again need to hold the power button in for a few seconds to switch it off. The volume up and down is as you would expect, volume up, volume down, and if you hold, it will also skip tracks backward and forward. 
the Bluetooth synchronization button once you are paired up or if you are already using it wired for your PC or however you're using it, if you press the Bluetooth button, that will activate ANC, noise cancellation. If you press it again, it will activate the ambient noise, which means you can hear their surrounding noises while you're still using the headphones. And if you press it again, it will go back to its main functions. The application is nice and simple. There's a QR code on the side of the box. Just open your camera on your smart device, scan the QR code. That should direct you straight to the app to install this. If not, you can search for it in the Google Play stores and the Apple store. And it's called Edifier Connect. Go ahead and install that. And then you want to go ahead and open the application. Now, to be honest, this application is very, very basic. When you open it, there'll be a little icon, tap to connect. It will then search for the Bluetooth device. You want to wait for it to find the Edifier, then go ahead and tap the Edifier headphones and pair. Once it's paired to your smart device, it's ready to use right away. I went into YouTube Music to test out the audio quality. Now, I've got to be honest here, guys. The audio quality isn't the best. For £60, you can't really be expecting Bang & Olufsen or Bose sound quality. But to be honest, it is very good. I would describe it as mid-range. It's a little low on the bass end. So if you're one that really likes your bass, then these will probably disappoint you. If you're just expecting a balanced sound and you just like to use them in general, then these are awesome. The app is very basic, as I said. The only thing it does really that's useful is tell you how much battery is remaining on the headphones. There's also a game mode which reduces latency, which confuses me because they should already have low latency. The game mode only also works with your smart devices. It doesn't work with PlayStation 4 and console unless you use a workaround. The Edifier app is very basic. There's no EQ, unfortunately. And all of the functions in the application, you can just do by pressing the buttons on the headset. However, one thing they did fail to mention is that if you come into your sound settings, come over to the headphones and scroll across to advanced settings, you can see here, as long as you're using them on a wired connection, this doesn't work via Bluetooth, guys, just the wired connection. But if you're using them via that wired connection, you can actually use them under studio conditions. It will allow you to select 16 bit, 16,000 hertz, tape recorder quality, all the way up to 32 bit, 96,000 hertz, studio quality. Overall, guys, I would say that these are fairly good headphones for £60. They are fairly rigid. They are constructed pretty good. They have titanium drivers. One of the best features is 49 hours playback time. That's over two days consistent playback time, guys. That is amazing playback time. 29 hours playback time if you have ANC mode activated. They have real memory foam sponge, which is really nice and comfortable. And they have just the right amount of clamping force and feel very comfortable and sound reasonable for the price. Guys, if you found any of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.